dans mes poils. Hello everyone, welcome to Donu's World. Thank God it's Friday. Well, a few weeks ago we ran a poll asking uh, Donu's World viewers and subscribers to tell us what they'd like me to talk about in future. And one of the topics was, of course, the ever-present issue of my weight struggle. And I've mentioned it before, but you want to hear about it on a regular basis. And that will actually be very good for me because, you know, of the discipline of having to give regular updates. Then another topic that uh, viewers requested was more about retirement, what it's like to stop work after a lifetime of going to an office or wherever you work every day. Um, <clears throat> the challenges you face when you no longer have that commitment um, because obviously it's going to change the dynamics of your personal life and your, uh, and your relationship with your family and just the way you spend your day is going to change drastically when you no longer have a job, basically. This topic really interests me because I am also getting to that age where at some point I really need to stop work. In fact, frankly, if I had the money, I'd probably have stopped work 20 years ago. I remember being at school in um, the UK and one of my friend's fathers retired when he was 40 because he made a killing in the oil industry. And he just decided to stop work and he lived like a gentleman. And everybody envied him, all the other dads and some of the, we were all very impressed by this glamorous man who was able to stop work at the age of 40. Um, another topic that, uh, Donny's World viewers have asked me to talk about from time to time, or on a regular basis actually, is Nigerian culture and the society and the lifestyle. Because what some of them have said, either through YouTube or by contacting me directly, because of course some of my viewers know me personally, is that even though it's fairly obvious that I'm operating in a warm weather place, that this could be anywhere, it could be Jamaica, it could be California, anywhere that has this kind of sunny weather and some of these sort of like tropical plants. So they want me to put myself and the, the things I feel and do more into context by talking more about the environment I live in and the traditions and day-to-day -day challenges that people face in that environment and the belief systems. So these are all topics that require a lot of uh, thought and a lot of uh, detail. So I'm not going to cover all of them now, but let me just perhaps single one out, which is this issue of, I mean, I'm going to talk about my weight issue every week. There's going to be a little bit of an update on that, even if I make absolutely no progress, which is um, unfortunately something that happens to me a lot around this whole thing about self-improvement. I'll start with retirement. It's quite a controversial topic, even though it doesn't sound like one. But, you know, there are also people who are desperate to never retire. Work is their whole identity, get their status, their sense of being, and their sense of self-esteem from. Um, and such people are desperate <clears throat> not to be laid off. And they want, they, they want to work till they drop, you know? Now, I have to tell you, I do not understand the second category of people because, like I said, left to me, I'd have retired like, you know, 20 years ago when I was in my 40s. And then I'd have spent the time reading, going to art exhibitions, traveling all over the world and doing interesting things and not having to meet deadlines or please anybody else. But of course, you know, the big issue around retirement is for those of us who want to retire, uh, and, or, or have already retired, <clears throat> it's money. Of course, retirement becomes an entirely theoretical thing until you know how you're going to live. The whole retirement issue is money. It's a huge issue. It's what's holding me back. It's what's holding a lot of people back and stopping them from hanging up their laptops or whatever the tool of their trade was. 
And it's a, a massive issue in Nigeria. Because this is not a culture in which we have state pensions, a proper, a proper state pension structure that applies to everybody. And um, very, very few companies, usually the foreign ones, offer credible, realistic pension plans. I mean, of course, if you work for a big uh, international firm, you're going to wind up with enough money to live on for the rest of your life. But for the rest of us, it's pretty scary because we actually have either no savings at all or very limited savings. And so we just have to keep on working and working. And it is really, really frightening to imagine a situation when you become too old, too tired, maybe even too unwanted to earn a decent living. So sometimes when I go to business meetings, to appointments in offices here in Nigeria, in Abuja, the capital where I live, I see very, very elderly people waiting to see the minister or the director general or the managing director or whichever uh, senior. And, you know, kind of, my heart breaks for them because they shouldn't even be in that office. They shouldn't need to hustle for consultancies or business projects or whatever they're for. And um, I, you know, my biggest fear is that I'm going to wind up like them with nothing to show for all these years of toil, and then having to sort of like keep on trying to eke out a living when you're way too old to be seen in public, um, applying for things or trying to get opportunities that would be better managed by younger people. And that's where the unwanted part comes in, because I mean, of course, the people who are making these decisions may also decide that even if you are willing and highly skilled and very willing to keep working till you're 70 or 80 or whatever, they might want somebody who is a lot younger than you are to take on the mantle of certain responsibilities. And I mean, we all know, I don't have to tell you that as you get older, you get a bit slower, you can't run so fast. You can probably think as fast, but not necessarily. That's what, why we talk about senior moments is you tend to be a little bit more forgetful and so on and so forth. So, but let's just assume that. Let, so when we talk about retirement, we're not going to talk about, let's forget about people who are workaholics who basically want to do their jobs forever and ever and ever, and they want to basically, they, they want to actually die on the job. Let's talk about kind of like normal, regular people who would like to stop at some point. I guess that's, the category that viewers were thinking about when they asked me to talk about retirement. And what I'd say is, you know, kind of, I'd love to know from those of you who have already retired, are you bored? Do you regret retirement? Do you lose status? Is it, uh, is it difficult to fill your day? I mean, I think if you're a reader like I am, I mean, I love books and magazines and newspapers. I could never be bored if I had a whole day to play with, or a whole week, or a whole month, or the whole rest of my life. But some people are not big on reading. Some people do not like art galleries. Some people do not particularly want to travel around the world and do all those wonderful leisure things that, that, well, that people like me think are wonderful. So, you know, kind of, are you depressed? Do you miss your workmates? Do you... you, do you um, do you feel that people treat you differently because you're no longer a worker, because you no longer have a job title? And how has retirement impacted on your relationship with your family? Are your friends also retired? Um, you know, are you happy that you've got more time to spend with your family? Do you, you know, are you having a happy retirement or a sad retirement? This is something I would love to know. And then maybe once I have more information from you about where you stand on this issue, we can build on some of the, the topics that come up as a result of what you tell me about impending retirement that's imminent, or maybe even retirement immersed in for quite a long time. I mean, you will have been retired for five, 10 years already, you know? 
I, I thought it was very significant that so many people said I should talk about retirement. It was a bit when people say that you should talk about something, they usually mean that they regard that thing as a bit of a problem. Or am I wrong? You know, it's it's like I would just like to know more. Okay, so do tell me where you stand on this issue, and um, I'll just tell you that in Nigeria. There doesn't seem to be a particularly high regard culturally for people who just say, right, that's it. I'm not working anymore. I don't need to make any more money. I don't want to be relevant anymore. I want my children to be, I want my children to be given the opportunities that, you know, I used to be given. Because what I find in Nigeria, actually, you've asked for more information about Nigerian culture and lifestyle and outlooks and traditions. And what I would say is that in Nigeria, the older people are quite selfish. And of course, you know, I now count as an older person. I'm not quite in that category where uh, people are going to say, oh, for God's sake, retire. But there's an awful lot of older people here who will not let go. They will not let go of opportunities that should really be going to younger people. And many of them are not equipped for the modern workplace. They don't know how to use laptops. They don't know how to use smartphones very well. Uh, they're not willing to embrace new concepts like artificial intelligence, which, by the way, terrifies the hell out of me. I don't want to know anything about it, but I guess I should try and find out. Um, so in Nigeria, retirement is not a high-valued activity. People here don't say, oh, yay, even very, very rich people. They don't say, oh, yay, this is wonderful. My briefcase, and I'm going on a tour on a yacht of the Aegean Sea or the Adriatic or the Mediterranean, or maybe to some, uh, some safari in Kenya and East Africa. They, they, just don't, they just seem to keep on, they work and work and work and work and work. They never stop. I know with my parents, who are both dead, that you know, we used to sort of like, we used to say to my father, oh, you know, just let my brother take over this thing. Here, the older people tend to resent younger people wanting to you know pick up the baton in the relay race that is life you know they want to carry on till the end a friend of mine was telling me that recently some oldies in lagos which is the commercial capital were asked to uh, recommend people for a job um board actually um, that was being set up and it's and um, all of them were in their 70s and 80s. And they should have nominated their children or younger people that they knew. So retirement is not a popular activity here. Um, it's, it's more appreciated in foreign countries. But like, you know, as some of you will know, in foreign countries, there are people who would like to be in Nigeria where it's okay to carry on working till kingdom come. So, um, it's it's not, I, I don't know. I mean, the attitude towards leisure activities here is, is a bit strange, in my opinion, because I, I can think of nothing better than bobbing up and down in a yacht and not having to be anywhere at a particular time and just having, you know, having the leisure activity, the time. But it's not popular here. And so, what do you think? Retirement, good thing, bad thing, sad thing, Happy thing. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.